the Golden Globe goes to Boyhood. To work with That's Meryl like Streep with announcing Boyhood as the big theatrical winner at Sunday's Golden Globe Awards in Hollywood. WSJ Features Senior Editorial Director Christopher Farley is here to help us break down the evening's big wins and a few upsets along the way. Chris, it's been a long time since we've had you on the show. Thank you very much. Hey, for thanks here. for having me. Appreciate it. Um, let's start off with the, um, the, the, the big winners, uh, Boyhood and Birdman. Yeah, Boyhood is one of the big winners from last night. I think it's... Uh, a win for innovation in Hollywood. This is the film that took a long time to make. Seven years. Y yeah. And that was, in, that was the production time. Yeah, I mean, they, they, we get to watch these actors age over, um, over a decade in real time, and that made it sort of a, a win for, for innovation, a win for taking your time, in an age where people want things bigger, faster now. This movie just took its sweet time in getting made, and now it's paying off with awards. Okay, so that, that's good. And Birdman, um, of course, uh, doing, doing quite well. Yeah, there, Birdman with Michael Keaton playing kind of a fictionalized version of himself, an actor who kind of mortgaged his career by playing, some, uh, playing a ridiculous kind of bird character and now wants to have a real acting career. People think this is a big win for Michael Keaton. He won last night. We'll see how it does when it gets to the, the Oscars. Now, a big win for Transparent, too. This is on the TV side of things, and, it, and it, it, it's interesting for two reasons. Right. What one is the, the the theme of it? Well, I think last night we saw a lot of wins for TV that's not on traditional TV. I mean, uh, Transparent is a comedy series with Jeffrey Tambor, who also won last night, playing um, a, a, a parent who um, who's changing sexes, and uh, this is on Amazon uh, um, uh, Instant Video. Uh, so you can watch this watch this on your computer or smartphone, or and, and not have to watch it on traditional TV. And this is challenging the traditional way that networks do things. And we've already seen uh, Netflix do very well um, with, with other things in the past, but this is a, a, a very big win for uh, Amazon and the transgender theme as well. Very interesting. Now, we also saw a bit of an upset with Gina Rodriguez in Jane the Virgin smashing some really established actors. Yeah, another um, another uh Thing that shows that sort of newer and smaller, maybe better. I mean, this show is on the CW. It, it features um, a mostly Hispanic cast. It's sort of a sea change for television, and she ended up carrying home the prize against some much more established competition. It really surprised a lot of people. And does does this show get a lot of, of viewers? Um, I understand it, it's quite a small show in some ways. But it's very crit critically acclaimed. It sort of takes a telenovela format, something fresh, something new. And so when you watch it, you think, I'm watching something fresh here. I'm watching something different, something that's not um, the standard TV show. I think that's part of its charm. Okay, now, the Oscars are coming up soon. Does this say basically the Oscars are going to have a great time or a bad time? Well, I think the Oscars were, were among the losers last night because uh, usually the winner of the best drama in, uh, in the Golden Globes goes on to win the, the, the Oscar. I mean, you, you, 12 Years a Slave, that happened. Argo went on to win after winning the Golden Globe. So that, sh that makes Parenthood one of the, the favorites to win the, the Oscars. Parenthood is not, uh, in, uh, Parenthood, I mean, uh, that, that, makes, that makes a Boyhood, the, um, I'm thinking of the, the CBS show, that makes Boyhood one of the favorites to win the, the, the Oscar. And it's not a huge film. It costs less than $4 million to make, and it's made like it won't And in Hollywood, million. that is uh, pr pr practically lunch money. Yeah, it's, uh, not, it's not Avatar, it's not Titanic, it's not some James Cameron spectacular. It's a small film, and box office last year was down, down by almost 5%. They need something big, they need something that's going to bring people into theaters and away from their smartphones and, and laptops. Now, were you surprised that Sal Alma, um, which is about the civil rights movement, didn't, didn't, do, uh, didn't do anything? Well, Common and John Legend did win for best song, so that's something for Selma. But Selma was one of the films that was much talked about, heavily favored in some categories. People were talking about the director. We'll see what happens at the Oscars, whether it's a whole different kettle of fish. But certainly Selma was one of, among one of the best reviewed films of the year. Last time I checked, it had 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, one of the things that we know about all award ceremonies, but particularly in Hollywood, is how political it is. There's, there's a lot of people um, going on campaigns to say, hey, vote for me, vote for me, and I'll send you all this stuff, right? This is, it's a very interesting dynamic. It's not, uh, it's not quite as sort of transparent as it might seem. Well, politics are involved. We saw politics on display last night when we saw Margaret Cho dressed as sort of a North Korean general speaking kind of pidgin English and kind of making fun of the whole controversy around the interview. It created a firestorm on Twitter and social media. People didn't like her act. They said it was stereotypical. They said it wasn't funny. But there's something else you can draw from 
from what happened. It's interesting that the most talked about movie of last night wasn't a movie that was nominated for anything. The interview was a movie that's making some money at the box office. People were first talking about it in terms of the whole whether North Korean hackers were involved in, in, in trying to stop the film. And yet, it's not a film that Hollywood's focusing in on for box office, well, uh, for, for, for award show I glory. I think it's fair to say that it, uh, that was not critically acclaimed um, <laughs> in any way. Anyway, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show.